Hey everyone! In this tutorial I'll show you how to use the Adventure Kids item system to create a weapon and for this we'll create the machine gun or recreate the machine gun that comes with the kit. So the first thing we need to do is create a new blueprint and extend from the weapon class and we'll call this machine gun and open it up. So the most important things are here on the right you can see uh, in the configuration how uh, the weapon uses ammunition. So we'll set like the machine gun has 50 bullets in a magazine, um, and at the start has 50 in the current magazine and a total of 100 bullets, and can hold a maximum of 150, let's say. Next, we'll uh, set the crosshair texture. So we go to textures, select the crosshair, and then call the item machine gun. And I don't think it needs a description for now, so I'll just put an icon here. And next we'll add a mesh. So the machine gun is actually displayed on the character. And we'll Let's see. Let's say we'll scale this up a bit and we'll have to rotate it about uh, minus 90 degrees so it faces forward on the character socket and we'll attach it to the uh, item right. So just like in the last tutorial uh, we'll attach the machine gun to the character. Now next we'll need to create a pickup so the character can actually get the machine gun. For that we'll create another blueprint that will extend from inventory pickup. Call this machine gun pickup. And again we'll add the machine gun so it displays something. We'll disable the collision on the machine gun on the mesh, scale it up a bit and we'll add a sphere overlap collision which we'll set to overlap all dynamic. Okay. And lastly we'll put our newly created machine gun item as the spawn inventory. Compile that. Now we'll place the pickup in the level and in order for our character to show up the level, we again go to Settings, World Settings, and set the Adventure Kit Sample Game Mode. So the default character spawns here. Okay, character now okay, takes the weapon, and you can see it holds it in its hand, and it displays the ammunition on the right, it displays the icon in the inventory, and the crosshair on the screen. Now, in order for our character to hold the weapon correctly, we'll go back into the weapon class. And under class settings, we'll add an interface called typed weapon, which comes with the kit. And it has added a new function called getType, and we'll return machine gun. That will instruct the character to hold the machine gun in the pose that fits it. Another thing we want to do is have the character look up and down uh, depending on where he, where we point the gun. For that we'll check the use aim offset checkbox. And now once we'll take the weapon the character will look in the correct direction as you can see here. Now the machine gun currently doesn't do anything. We need to configure how it fires. And for that we'll create yet another blueprint. And this derives from fire mode configuration. We call this machine gun primary fire. Now any weapon can have multiple uh, fire modes. For example, imagine a machine gun that could have a 
continuous fire or single shot or maybe even I don't know an attached grenade launcher and you can configure all these um, with fire modes so our standard fire mode we want the gun to use one bullet per shot have zero spread in this case and refire let's say every 10 milliseconds 100 milliseconds and the fire type should be instant hit so the weapon will do a trace and whatever is hit will be damaged. We can also set it to projectile or custom. In case there would be a projectile, we can configure how uh, what projectile is spawned here. And we want to select a character fire montage so the character actually animates accordingly. So we'll choose uh, rifle f fire rifle hip, which is one of the animations that comes with the animation starter content. Compile that, go back into our machine gun and add the fire mode as the first entry of the gun. Okay, compile and save. Now when we take the gun and press the left mouse button, the gun starts to fire and uses up the ammunition while the character just the exact the correct animation. Now you'll notice that the animation just counts down. This is because we have not yet configured how to reload the gun. For that, go back into the gun and under the reload category we can give it a montage which we'll call, uh, uh, which we'll use reload, uh, reload rifle hip, which is another animation that comes with the starter content. And we'll say, uh, it reloads 50 bullets after the animation. If you don't have an animation, you can also set just a reload timer. Uh, that works as well. And now we shoot. And if you hit the R key, the character will reload. Now another thing we can do is create a pickup that will add ammunition to the character. Uh, for that, we create a blueprint from uh, the ammo munition pickup. We'll call this machine gun ammo. And let's just add a cube. So this this would be our ammo box, for example. And since this cube has no collision, we'll add a box collision that roughly matches this, the size of the box put it to overlap all dynamic and in the properties of the machine gun we'll add and uh, sorry in the properties of the pickup we'll add the machine gun as our desired ammunition weapon and we'll say this box restocks 25 ammo okay now we'll place let's place some of the boxes in the level and if you now pick up the gun you can shoot a bit and once we pick up the box I can see the ammunition uh, gets picked up. Another thing we can do is quickly add a targeting dummy, which is kind of a practice test. And when we pick up the gun, you can see we hit the target dummy. So each time the target dummy gets damaged, uh, it gets a little um, red color and starts wiggling around. So yeah, that's how you implement a simple machine gun. Ah, one last thing, what we can do is have the machine gun actually do sound when it's shooting. For that, we can override the fire shot event uh, on fire shot. We'll call the parent function on the fire shot because uh, that will handle actually applying damage. And then we'll play a sound at location, get the current location of the gun, plug it into the location of the sound, and we go to sounds and plug the sound of the machine gun in there. Let's see, put it a little, don't want to have it too loud, and now. As you can hear, the shots are being played whenever the 
the machine gun is fired. Yeah, and that is how you implement a simple weapon. Thanks for watching.